In the last video, we learned how to multiply a matrix by a column, and that allowed us to encode a system of linear equations really compactly. But we can also multiply general matrices, right? So the, the idea is that uh, if A is A, M by, so that should be a times instead of an X, M by P, we say M times P, and we say M by P matrix, And B is a P by N matrix. We write A times B as matrices to be equal to this following matrix. So first we expand out into A11 all the way up to A. Uh, now this is going to have P columns all the way down to a m1 a m p and we multiply by this matrix b11 all the way down to b p1 and we have n columns now BPN down here. So the, the idea of this multiplication is that essentially we're going to feed rows to columns, right? And so if we if we just had one column, then we would get one column here, and we would feed all these rows to this column to get the entries of those columns, that, that, that particular column. But now, since I have multiple columns, I'm going to get multiple columns in the product. In particular, I'm going to exactly get exactly n columns. Right? And notice that in order to have this multiplication well defined, we had to have that the number of columns here is equal to the number of rows here. That's very important. So in general, this guy will look like A11, B11. So this is the very first entry. So I'm just going to multiply this row by this column. So I have A11, B11 plus a12, b21, right? So the index is going down, or the, the index is increasing, but it's the left index here, whereas the index is increasing, but it's the right index here, plus all the way up to a1p, bp1. And all the way up to uh, the, last, the last entry on this row will be a11. So to get the last entry on this top row, we take this row and we multiply by the last column. We have A11, B1N now. And then we do kind of a similar, uh, similar progression of the elements. We'll end up with A1, P, B, P, N here. Getting near the end there, so I'll, I'll try to write a little bit smaller. Uh, and then we keep going through that and then the the entry here is going to be a m1 b11 plus a m2 b21 plus all the way up to a1 p or mp rather bp1 and the last entry in this row is going to be a m1 b1 n all the way up to A, M, P, B, P, N. And that's it. That's it. And the general entry, A, B, say the I, J -th entry of this new matrix. So this is a new matrix, and it's going to have exactly M rows and in columns. Well this guy is going to be just the sum from k equals 1 to p of a i k b k j. So we just we just sum over this these these two adjoining indices, right? So it's the the column index for a 
and it's the row index for b. And we sum over, over the multiples over those. So let's do a quick example. Let's do the 2 by 2 case, the general 2 by 2 case. So a11, a12, a21, a22 multiplied with b11, b12, b21, b22. Well, that's going to be equal to the first entry will be multiply this row by this column. So we get a11, b11 plus a12, b21. Now, for the next entry in this row, right, so this will be 2 by 2 since. A has two rows and B has two columns. So this will be A11, B12, plus A12, B22. Then down here, we're going to multiply this row by this column. So A21, B11, plus A22, B21. Now the, the last row hits the last column, and we get A. 21B12 plus A22B22. And that's a simple example to illustrate exactly what's going on here. And we'll, we'll, we'll work some more con concrete examples when we work on problems.